My name is Erin Riker. I live here in Des Moines with my husband, Tyler, um, and we have two little boys who are four and two. I am a freelance writer and editor um, and a stay-at-home mom, so life is busy and fun these days. <laughs> so it kind of started it, at the beginning of, of 2021 when Plymouth sent out their Star Words for the year. The Star Words that we got in my house were discipleship and responsiveness. They really felt like a challenge to me personally in the middle of a pandemic. Like, how, how do you do these things? What, what do you do? And I, I started getting more involved at Plymouth. I started going to um, some of the book studies that Plymouth has been doing. We, we did a study of Richard Rohr's Universal Christ. And there's a, there's a line that Richard Rohr says, which really struck me, and it's that Jesus never said, worship me. Jesus said, follow me. And oh man, that, that really hit me. Because it, it is so much easier to worship Jesus than to follow him. That is, that is a big ask, especially when following Jesus requires you to step outside of your comfort zone. I, I really felt God saying, come on, like, there's more here. You need to get involved. You need to do something. And then suddenly I, I saw in Plymouth Communications that they were looking for a communication coordinator to help with this Plymouth Welcomes a Refugee Family Project. And I thought, okay, okay, God, I'm going to do this. I don't know how I'm going to do this. I don't know how I have the time or the energy, but I'm just going to do it. And I did it, and it has been the most wonderful experience. We had a big group of people at the airport. We had welcome signs. Um, we had balloons, and it was just, it was really special to see so many people come together. And on September 23rd, that was move-in day. We had volunteers working all day long, hauling in a three-bedroom apartment's worth of furniture and household goods. And these were all items donated by Plymouth members. So it was amazing to kind of see bits and pieces come from so many different people. And the team just did an amazing job. Donna Paulson and Jan Campbell's teams, they put together just the most beautiful home. And the Plymouth quilters donated five quilts that they had made for the family's beds and they were so cheery. So that I think for me was the most exciting thing to see in the apartment because I know how much time and love went into that. This type of project is so important for Plymouth to live out its mission to practice radical love and radical hospitality outside the walls of Plymouth. God calls us to be the hands and feet of Christ and, and that requires us to get involved in places where we are needed, where we can use the privileges that we have, the assets that we have, the information that we have, we can put that to work to help people who need help. It, it does require us to get out there and to step out of our comfort zone. Volunteering for the church, donating to the church, those are ways that we put our faith into action. And I think anytime we can ask of ourselves, what more can I do? Can I do more? I think for a lot of us, we do have the bandwidth to do more than we're currently doing. And I'm feeling challenged myself this year to do more, to, to look for ways that I can do more than what I have been doing. <laughs>